Hey you guys, what's going on? Welcome in, my name's Amanda. This is the Connected Conduit. I'm gonna do a quick little message for you here. See what spirit wants you to know. I have been getting um, this information about the Divine Masculines that they're about to go through tower moments that force them to see the truth of a certain person and situation or multiple people in their life, right? And then it's gonna push them towards making a choice, finally making a, a decision. And they're in the process of leaving someone who's very competitive, very immature, ignorant, self-righteous, judgmental. They like to taunt. They're very cruel, very harsh with their words. And they nitpick and lecture all the time. Me, 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 me. You know, I'm seeing, who is that? Beaker? Beaker from like the Muppets? Me, 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 me. <laughs> that's what I see all right so okay what are the divine masculines being forced to see I just heard it's time it's time the emperor it's time to take control it's time for them to see their true potential and that they are divine. They are divine masculines and they need to start acting like it. They need to pull up their big boy pants and step into this energy. Take control. Take the lead. Yeah. Move towards a victory here. Overcome these challenges. Six of Wands. They've been going through a battle, you guys. They've been, like I said, with someone who's very competitive, which is the Five of Wands. It shows people competing, fighting, arguing, battling it out. I was also getting the song, I can do anything you can do better. I can do anything better than you. You know, this is someone who's very, very self-righteous. They think they're the bee's knees. They think they're God's gift to man or woman, you know, but they're not. <laughs> they're not, not even close, right? So the Six of Wands shows me that these masculines are going to have a victory over this competition, over this, these challenges, these delays, these blocks. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. They haven't been well. They've been feeling very weak, very down in the dumps, very depressed, extremely unhappy. Yeah, they want to follow their heart. They're being guided to follow their heart, follow their passions, to choose love, choose self-love. Don't tolerate any garbage from anybody. If somebody is not treating you right, you've got to assert yourself. You have to set boundaries. And if people don't respect that then you've got to let them go. If people don't change and start treating you better, bye-bye, right? That's the end of the road. Sayonara. So I just put the deck on the Nine of Pentacles and then the Devil. These masculines are getting ready to be single or they want to be single so badly, you guys. They want to be free, free from toxicity, Free from anyone or anything that has been keeping them bound, chained, or stuck. Fear, addictions, negative mindsets, a clingy, codependent partner, anything of a low vibration that has been blocking your masculine from moving forward and being successful is being removed. These toxic karmic energies are being revealed to the masculines at this time and it's very stressful it's very very stressful they've been crying they've been going through it okay but honestly this person for many of these masculines you know they're with someone like a partner who is horrible very cruel Five of Swords type of deal, right? Someone who's in their ego, they want to win at all costs, and they don't care about hurting people. There's the Wheel of Fortune. I just saw 444, you guys. Look up that angel number if you feel called, or you could be seeing a lot of fours, and that's your confirmation. Okay, so 
I channeled out just before I pulled the emperor, I heard it's time, it's time, right? So the universe is going masculine. It's time. It's time to make this decision. It's time to make this change that you've been contemplating, that you've been going back and forth on for a long time. These masculines have been wishy-washy, up and down, back and forth for a while. And the universe is going, move, make, your, make up your mind, choose the path, let's go. You have everything you need to move forward. But these masculines are, are afraid. They're afraid of change. <sighs> Look at this. Look at this. I split the deck on the nine of swords and the five of swords. This is what I'm talking about. This is what the masculines have been dealing with. They've, they've been having to overcome their own negative thought patterns, their own toxicity. They've had to have an ego death. They needed to be humbled. And I feel like that's happened. They've also needed to realize the truth about narcissistic people in their lives who are snobby, who will win at all costs, who are very, very competitive, you guys. I can do anything better than you. Five of Swords. If the Five of Swords had a song, that song would be it. Like, that's perfect. It's the perfect song for the Five of Swords. I can do anything better than you. Someone who's very immature, cruel, negative. Yeah, see, look, two of pentacles in the page of cups. Spirit is going masculines, no more wishy-washy, no more up and down, no more back and forth. It is time. You need to make this decision. So they're being encouraged to follow their passions, their creativity, their heart, and make a decision about this very immature person in their life. I just saw 711. You could be seeing those numbers. The King of Pentacles. I just heard this house is not a home. This house Pardon me, this house is not a home. There's no love here. These masculines are committed to someone. But there's no love. You know, there isn't. And they're moving away. Look, eight of wands is the masculine moving away very quickly. There's travel, there's communication here. And with the six of swords and the queen of swords, this is showing me that cruel, harsh, mean, bitter, judgmental person who who won't stop talking. This is what I'm getting. They won't stop talking. Meep, 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 blah, 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 blah. You're not good enough. Make more money. You do this, do that, do this, do that. You're doing it wrong. Do it better. That's not good enough. Picky. Nitpicky. And the masculine's like, oh my God. There's only so much one person can take. This is becoming very burdensome and I want to move away from the Five of Swords. I want to find peace, harmony, I don't want to be here anymore. I'm sick of this. Your masculine is turning their back to this person. And they're moving forward. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. They want to be free. They want to be single. If they're married, they want a divorce. If they're committed to this person, they want to break that commitment. They want to move away. Yeah, five of pentacles. They're done. They're very, very depressed because where they are, it's very cold. There's no growth. This is an environment that is very stifling. There's no love. It's, it's, it's icy, you guys. And they want to go towards the star. They want to heal. Look at all the life around 
the woman in the star card. It's an oasis here. This is a safe place. This is where you are, Divine Feminine. You give this person hope. You're very healing for them. They think about you. You're like the light at the end of the tunnel for this person. I keep getting that message. I just saw 1010. You know, um, where you are, it's like the love is going to flow. It's real. You're real, authentic, genuine, healing, loving, kind, caring, compassionate. You are what they're thirsty for. They're thirsty. Very, very thirsty. They've been starved. You guys, look at, yes, look at five of pentacles in the star. They've been starved. They've been starved of love, kindness, compassion, because they've been with a cruel person who's very icy, judgmental, snobby, who loves to cut them down any chance they get. Very critical. And this tower moment that has come in or is coming in is going to push the masculine, is going to propel them forward, is going to force them to see the truth once and for all, to admit the truth, to accept the truth, and then make the choice already and move. Sorry about the kiddos. It's the weekend, they're home, and uh, I normally don't film on the weekend for this exact reason, but I was called to the table, so <laughs> it is what it is, you know? It's a weekend reading where we get bizarre noises in the background from my kids. Okay, so there's going to be an ending here with the death card. There's going to be a shift. There has to be. Because the devil has been revealed. Toxic energies, toxic people, negative mindsets have been revealed. Or they're about to be. Like it's going to be so blatantly obvious. And this masculine is going to reach this point where they're like, screw this. What am I doing? What am I doing here? Why am I putting up with this garbage? When I can move forward. I can be happy. I can choose me. Self-love. So they're going to do the right thing with justice. They're going to do the right thing. They're going to do what's fair, right, and just. They're going to stand in their truth, own their truth. And for those of you who, um, if your divine masculine is married, they want a divorce or they're getting a divorce. But... <clears throat> Karmic justice, right? Karmic justice. This is what happens. Love wins and karmic, toxic, low vibrational karmic energies will lose, right? Okay. Anything else that wants to come through? <laughs> the devil wants to come through. Of course it wants to come through. Of course. Because the devil doesn't like to give up. It, it really does have this persevering type of attitude, right? So this is another thing too. It's like this person or whatever toxic trait or negative mindset your masculine has been dealing with, it's, it's been very persistent. It hasn't wanted to, it hasn't wanted to detach or leave, right? It keeps coming back or this masculine keeps going back to it. You know, this could even be a, a partner who they keep breaking up with, but then going back to them, breaking up, getting back together, breaking up, and then getting back together. And each time it's worse and worse and worse and worse. Um, that actually happens a lot, you guys, in abusive um, relationships. You know, I feel like there's been a lot of verbal abuse here, a lot of emotional abuse. And honestly, you guys, it's so common for people to leave abusive relationships, but then return to them like at least three times before finally leaving for good. And I feel like for many of these masculines, they've gone through something like that. Yeah, as I say, it takes three times. It's the three of wands on the bottom. And behind that is the 10 of swords. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, that clarifies that message. Yeah, this masculine has left this karmic three times. But the third time is the charm. The third time it's really over. It's done. 
they're choosing to turn their back and go in a different direction. Wow. I feel like cheering. Yeah, look, they're standing up to the karmic seven of wands. They're not taking any BS. Yay, the sun. They want to be happy. They're like, I deserve to be happy and I don't have to put up with this. And they're putting the past behind them and having a victory here. Man of Swords. I'm going through it. Five of Cups. Very stressful, very painful situation. You guys are going to be able to expand together. You can expect your masculine to come towards you with communication telling you that they have made a choice. They've made, they've made the choice because the Three of Wands shows a man who has stepped away from the Two of Wands, which indicates a choice, and has grasped onto the Third Wand, right? So they've made their choice. And you're going to hear about this. You're going to hear about some sort of decision or a choice or many choices that they've made, yeah, to move forward, all right? They've left a situation behind and they want to come see you. They want to travel towards you, right? of cups see i feel that this karmic has been clinging on to this masculine and very very emotionally manipulative and this masculine is rejecting this person once and for all because they're so unhappy they're so tired of the the same ish different day they're sick of these karmic cycles they're tired of being on the bottom and there's no progress there's no growth where they are it just keeps getting worse Worse and worse and worse. I'm seeing like a downward spiral. This karmic's very insecure. They're very greedy, money hungry. And they only want the masculine for the financial resources that they bring to the table. But the problem is, you guys, <clears throat> what I'm picking up is that this karmic is so stifling, so toxic, that they are actually snuffing out the masculine's flame and ability to create and therefore sabotaging the masculine's ability to make money and they're struggling you guys they're struggling financially it's a vicious cycle bring home more money and then the masculine tries to bring home more money works even harder puts in longer hours gets more and more depleted more tired um and then can't focus at work doesn't they're not able to put their best foot forward at work and their money suffers work suffers their money suffers the harder that this karmic clings, the more the masculine suffocates, the more the masculine's um, flame is extinguished, and the less they can create, the less money they can make. That's what's going on here. And that's the truth, Ace of Swords. The divine masculines are being forced to see the truth. They're seeing the truth. And they are are making a choice or they're about to make a very very difficult well it's not even a difficult choice but it's a choice that they've been putting off and so spirit's like no 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 we need to get you out of there and we're going to bring in a tower moment for you divine masculine because you cannot ignore a tower moment you have to deal with the tower moment Right? You can't bury your head in the sand when a tower moment hits. Oh, no, no, no. You're forced. You're forced to deal with it. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Mm -hmm. You guys are going to make up. You're going to have reconciliation. They're coming back around. They can't fight their feelings for you. I can't fight my feelings anymore. Yeah, look at romantic feelings. <laughs> I can't fight my feelings anymore. I've forgotten what I started fighting for. This masculine's like, why am I resisting a good thing? 
Why am I resisting a, a good thing with my feminine and staying in a toxic relationship with a horrible person? Why am I doing that? Why am I doing that? Right? It's like light bulb. <laughs> light bulb. Yeah, look, free yourself. I can free myself. I'm not trapped. I can leave. It's like this masculine had this sudden realization, you guys, that they can take control of their life. They can make different choices. They can choose to be free. And this is what they're going to do. It says free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Control. And we saw the divine masculine energy come out with the emperor card. So this person is doing just that. They're taking control. Taking their life into their own hands here. And they're like, no more. I've forgotten what I started fighting for. That's Rio Speedwagon. I can't fight my feelings for you anymore. I highly suggest you guys watch the music video because there's going to be more messages in there for you specifically. So Spirit is saying, <laughs> please go after this and watch that video. I can't fight my feelings. Um, I can't fight my feelings or can't fight my feelings by Rio Speedwagon. Okay. Chemistry. Yeah, because there's so much chemistry between the two of you. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Your person is so attracted to you and they, they're not attracted to the person they're with anymore. It's true love with you. Yes, you guys, look. Look, behind that we have unrequited love. And I was just saying... They don't love the person they're with anymore. It's unrequited love. When they look at the karmic, they wish it was you. They see your face. Right? There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Whereas with you, there's chemistry. There's attraction. There's passion. They feel creative with you. They know that you guys can make magic together. They know that when you guys come together intimately, if you haven't been intimate yet, that it's going to be very powerful, very magical. This is a rom the romance of a lifetime. This is true love, you guys. Wow. Okay. What else? What else, masculine? <laughs> what else, spirit? You know what, I'm <clears throat> I'm getting more of those lyrics to that song. Um, he sings about, I've forgotten what I why I started fighting, or whatever. Um, it's time to bring this ship into the shore, right? The Six of Swords. It's time to bring this ship onto the shore. And yeah, I'm just seeing the Six of Swords in my eyes. So it's like this masculine is done being out at sea. They're done being in choppy waters. They want to come home. They want to come to the shore where it's stable, where you are. I've forgotten what I started fighting for. It's time to bring this ship onto the shore. Something like that. And throw away. And throw away something forever. You guys, just go watch this. <laughs> just go listen to the video or, or listen to the song. Watch the video. Um, I'm not doing a very good job at explaining it. I can't really remember. But he talks about coming onto the shore and then throwing something away. Oh yeah, the oars. <laughs> throw away the oars. Yes, thank you, Spirit. So he's talking about coming up onto the shore, throwing away the oars, which means that your divine masculine's not going anywhere. They're never going back out into the stormy sea. They're never going back to a karmic connection ever again. They're done with that. They're done with that connection, with that relationship, with that job, with that family member, with um, that negative mindset, with that old belief. They're done. Okay, they're throwing away the oars because they're home and they don't plan on going anywhere. They're home and they're there to stay. And that's that. You are their forever person. You are their forever person. Okay, I'm getting emotional. I miss your tenderness, your nurturing energy, 
you make me feel so safe yeah you guys this person does not feel safe where they are they don't feel loved they don't feel seen they don't feel heard they are being very poorly treated they are being mistreated mishandled and i'm hearing misled they're being misled where they are i miss your tenderness your nurturing energy you make me feel so safe this is important to your person this is really important Aww. you're the empress you have that nurturing energy that fosters growth where they are it's cold and it's inhospitable it's inhospitable it's icy it there's snow on the ground it's there, there's no growth there's only death only death where they are symbolically I'm standing up for myself against karmic people in my life. Yay! Yay, masculine! I can't help but clap. Come on, everybody clap. Clap for these masculines. Woo! Woo! I'm getting pumped. I'm getting pumped up for these masculines. Because you know what? They've been putting up with, like, terrible treatment. So, yay. They're standing up. We saw the Seven of Wands. They're pushing back. They're standing their ground, asserting themselves, putting up healthy boundaries. Yay. I watch your videos and look at your photos all the time in private when I'm in my car or room. I drive by your work or your house just to catch a glimpse of you. You look gorgeous and so happy. I can sense other men or women around you who are interested in pursuing you. This makes me feel very triggered. I get jealous. I want them to stay away. You're mine. <laughs> I've been having intimate dreams about you. I wake up excited. Okay. They haven't felt passionate or excited um, for the karmic or for certain situations in their life for a long time. But you bring out this desire, this passion, this excitement, okay? I'm awakening spiritually. I'm starting to see the truth and it's scary. Yeah, that message just came out in the reading I did before this. Okay, so... <sighs> That clarifies the whole thing that I was just channeling for you guys. Ready or, not, Ready or not, here I come. Did you just hear my child? Did you just hear my son? He just said, ready or not, here I come. I always listen to what my children say because spirit speaks through children, um, messages on the TV, ads, birds, trees, anything, you guys. You can Spirit speaks, the universe speaks to us in so many different ways. And one of the ways they speak to us is through children. So you should really, if you have kids, really pay attention to what they say. Okay. And it feels, if it feels meaningful to you, then it, it it's supposed to, it's supposed to resonate with you in that way. So pay attention. So ready or not, here I come. That's the divine masculine. Ready or not, here I come. Who sings that? I'm gonna find you. Ready or not, here I come. I'm going to chase you down. <laughs> I'm going to find you. Fuji's. It's the Fuji's. Definitely look that song up too. Ready or not, here I come. Ready or not. Your masculine's coming in. <laughs> your masculine's coming in because they see the truth. So I started this whole reading with the, div the divine masculine is being forced to see the truth so that they can make this choice. And it says right here, I'm awakening spiritually. I'm starting to see the truth, the truth, and it's scary. Okay, I'm telling you, that is absolutely 110% confirmed. So, ready or not, here they come. <laughs> here they come. Yay, Divine Masculine. I'm so proud of you, Divine Masculine, if you are watching. I'm so proud of you. I'm very proud, okay? Sending love to all of you. Love and all the good vibes. 
stay aligned, my friends, stay aligned. And if you feel called to like and subscribe on your way out, that would be amazing and very much appreciated. Okay? <laughs> Sometimes I just bust into song. That's how I roll. That's how I roll. All right? All right. I'm going to leave it here. Enjoy the rest of your day or afternoon or evening. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.